company. My name is Elprin, and welcome back to yet another React video. And today we're checking out some more Nukes Top 5. It's been a little while since we reacted to another Nukes Top 5 video, but we're going to change that today by reacting to some more scary paranormal stuff. And if you know me, I love the paranormal. I react to quite some paranormal stuff on the channel, whether it be fiction or whether it be stuff related to Nuke. So with that, we're going to go ahead and right into this. This is Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos. Y'all going to be scared. That is up for debate unless it includes the Jester doll, which I do not like whatsoever. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and get right into this bad boy in 3, 2, 1, shipping. I don't know if Taz is coming back in here, one of my cats. She might go back go into the other room. Artist Susie Solmori says that her family lives in a very haunted house in England. The house, which was built in 1902, still contains strange items left by its former owners. But weirdest of all, on the third floor, there is a very strange painting that was left there by a previous tenant. What? Susie says that this painting is the most haunted object in the entire house. She says that often her young niece carries on long, eerie conversations with the spirit, quote, Gilbert, who she says Gilbert. inhabits the painting. <laughs> if we get about the haunted painting, she talks to him a lot. What? What you heard? I heard that. I heard that. I'm not stupid. I'm very smart. I'm the smartest in the class. Okay, not really. Um, do you want this or do I keep it? Are you okay? I'm tired. I don't need. I hear the cat in the background. Hmm. It could get cold. You can't touch cold stuff. But, 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 I am, but, but I'm warm. One day, Susie and her brother ask her niece okay. about the spirit, Gilbert. Did you like him? Yeah, Gilbert's like one of my best friends. No. Where did he She's come coming from? back in here. I don't know. I, I think the man that, that used to live here painted it. Is, he, is Gilbert friendly? Does he speak to you? Yeah. What does he say? Because I don't pray. And this is the point when things take an even creepier turn. Okay. Because Susie does some investigating and manages to find an old picture and some info about her family home. What she discovers is downright creepy. Here is a photo of the house from 1916 and it was built in 1902. So this would be the first or one of the first the families to live in this house. As you can see, right. there are six people present in the photo. I'm looking at the English census records. I found that the father would be called John. The mother was called Maud. Next to on the balcony has a daughter, Dorothy. The birth of a little boy called Gilbert was also registered here in 1911. So he would be about five or six in this photo. I'm unsure why he's not with the rest of his family in the photo. What they did to him. I just have an overwhelming feeling that something really Ugh. terrible happened to him at the hands of his own family. The weirdest part is that this is where the sun painting is situated in the house. That's his room. Things around the house start to get even weirder as one day when Susie is home alone, she starts to hear banging noises she coming left. from upstairs. She grabs her phone and films as she goes to investigate. Gilbert. It's a little hard to see because there's a lot of reflection off my screen right now. There is banging coming from inside the playroom where Gilbert's painting hangs. But when she looks inside, there's nothing there. Cut to another night, and as Susie goes upstairs, she again sees what her is the architecture doing of that stair? a little strange in the third floor playroom. There you are, Tess. The girl is prying away at the floorboards while singing, You Are My Sunshine. And remember that the spirit Gilbert is said to inhabit an old painting of the sun. Odd coincidence? Maybe. But after the girl has gone to bed, Susie and her brother go back upstairs to investigate the area of the floor that her niece was picking at. What they find makes their blood run 
cold. What'd they find? Looks like it comes up. What is that, wiring? says Gilbert. Oh, yeah, it does say Gilbert. To Gilbert? Oh, no. It's a Ouija board? Oh, no. And it, look, it has the picture of the sun on it, just like on the wall. It's the same drawing. Underneath the floor, there is an old Ouija board with a picture of the sun that looks very similar to the haunted Gilbert painting. Yeah, it so looks almost the same. is there a spirit named Gilbert haunting the third floor playroom of Susie's old house? And is this spirit sending messages through Susie's young niece? Let me know what you think. Sorry, one second. I'm gonna keep listening. We need scary oh. videos. <laughs> so if you see anything that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Oh, Sorry, I was just a friend. The Earth <laughs> checks out a group of small abandoned buildings in the middle Give of the Give me progress nowhere, updates on the game they're playing. In the woods of Poland. Eventually, it gets too dark to explore, <sighs> and he decides to leave. But hanging around till after dark seems to have been a terrible mistake. Luna's all their mind in the background. Also, at night, by yourself. Spot something on the roof. What did you see? What did you see? I. I... Oh! Oh! Uh, get out of there! Go, 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 go! Someone can be seen chasing the now panicking urban explorer. And whoever it is seems to have come from right off the goddamn roof. The urban explorer runs off into the woods to escape. But whoever this strange person is now seems to be following him. Why do you have your flashlight on? It looks like he's holding something. Looks like a knife. He just stuck down. Yeah, go, 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 go. Get the fuck out of there. Thankfully, the urban explorer makes it home safe. See, this right here is the reason you don't go to places alone by yourself in the middle of the woods. This is why. This is why you don't go alone. A fan shares his footage on YouTube. A curious viewer points out just how pale the unknown stranger seems to be. Another viewer claims that they too have visited the abandoned buildings and that they also saw this same creepy man. Either way, this strange guy swooping down from the roof to chase the urban explorer away is truly creepy. And it seems like something right out of a horror movie. Yeah. Never go alone. This is the reason. Ibby and the kitty. TikTok user Ibby, Ibby is Ibby. recording a cute video of her cats late one night when something happens that go she down, still Tom. just can't explain. Down. What? Mm. 
What the fuck was that? One of Ibby's cats goes behind the curtains, then turns around and seems to disappear right into the floor. Now, I'm not even entirely sure what's going on here myself, because even when this footage is brightened, it's hard to find any explanation as to why that cat just disappeared. Unfortunately, Ibby didn't share much about the strange video, but all of her cats seem to be safe and accounted for. Okay, good. So just what good. is this? I'll leave it up to you. It's cold outside, but you can keep warm in some all-new Nuke Stop 5 merch. Now, of course, what we have t-shirts, hoodies, and coffee mugs. But we also have blankets, pillows, and long sleeves. We've even got stockings and wrapping paper. Hmm. Anyway, okay, shipping is then. free, and be sure to order by December 8th to get delivery before Christmas. Go to nukestop5.com to shop now. Or, you know, like, whenever you feel like it. <laughs> Maybe after the video. The Ghost at Granny's. Italian oh, YouTube user Simone Bote says that his Cute grandmother has been experiencing strange, unexplainable events in her home. She says that her TV turns on by itself, windows open on their own, and creepiest of all, she often hears unexplained voices from somewhere in her house. Even though he's a bit skeptical of his grandmother's claims, Simone agrees to spend the night at her house while she's away. He's not really expecting to experience much of anything. But then, he also begins to hear creepy sounds from somewhere in the house. What happens next is truly bizarre. Allora, sono a casa di mia nonna. I'm at my grandmother's house. <laughs> There's a bang. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm at my grandma's house all by myself. And another bang. 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 Another Cut for time. This chair is not comfortable anymore. No, my bad. The light's not working. Oh god, that means the activity is at an all-time high. That for some reason, the lights upstairs don't seem to be working. So he grabs a flashlight and slowly climbs the stairs in search of the creepy sounds. No, parte che c'è un gran rumore di vento e mi sto cagando in mano solo per quello. I'm scared. So. I don't like these liminal spaces. Now it sounds like it's stopped. What is that? There's too much reflection on my screen from the light. From the light outside. Ragazzi, mi sto cagando in mano. Oh boy. Okay. No, my bad. No, my bad. Simone is completely alone in the house, but he hears a window and closet door open by themselves. Simone slowly begins to realize that everything that his grandmother has been complaining about is now happening right in front of him. No, vabbè, ragazzi, io sono terrorizzato, ma proprio nel... What? What? Oh, it's moving. It's hard to see. It's so dark. Quindi, non sono, non sono più stupido. Ti giuro non riesco, vi giuro non riesco neanche a parlare oggi perché fatica. Something in front of them. No, vabbè, aspetta, aspetta, aspetta. Oh no, vabbè, il letto è fatto. The bed is done. Wait. 
Vielen The doors are open. Il letto c'è prima il letto non era così. Era non ho la voce, ve lo giuro. Ma voi no, la voce. Ok. No, no, ora vado. Mi sembra il caso di proseguire con questa cosa, non so come. What? 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 Il vaso non era lì. Il vaso non era lì. Oh, fuck. Questo vaso non era lì. Non era assolutamente lì. A chandelier swings back and forth on its own, and just as Simone is about to leave, he hears movement coming from his grandmother's bedroom. He goes to take a look inside and discovers that the bed covers are now neatly arranged, as if someone came in and made the bed. Also, the doors of all the cabinets are open. Suddenly, the doors move again, and Simone decides to just get out of there. But inexplicably, the face so. is now moved to the top of the stairs. It was off to the side this whole time. It wasn't even on the top staircase. And now it is. Just then, Simone hears more movement from the guest bedroom. He decides to take a look inside. And what happens next is downright chilling. Well, he's definitely running. <laughs> what? I didn't even see it. <laughs> It just gave me chills. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Did you see it? No, I didn't. For a split second, a dark shadow can be seen moving towards Simone as he looks inside. Oh, the room. I know. It was too dark he for me to see. He freaks out and just makes a run for it. And with that, he decides to stay away from the house for the rest of the night. Over the next seven months, Simone and his grandmother discovered that the strange paranormal activity in her house might be linked to an old scarf that she won at a church raffle. Simone says that with his grandmother's permission, he threw away the scarf and that the strange activity in her house has now completely stopped. No, I didn't even see that the first time. Ride of a lifetime. Gustavo Alacarez from Mazatlan, Mexico is celebrating his 10th birthday with his family in a small amusement park. After gathering his courage, the young boy goes on a roller coaster for the very first time. A total California of eight Republic. people get on the roller coaster, all Gustavo's family. His proud mother sits in the front and records a video of Gustavo's first roller coaster ride. But her camera catches something that Gustavo and his family simply can't explain. What'd you catch? Something truly chilling. I'm looking like empty last car. Is something in it now? Honey. Hi. Empty last car. Oh, it's still empty. I'm not a big fan of roller coasters. Still empty. Well, now, now there's somebody on it. I saw it. Even before the arrow hit it. And there's still somebody there. Holy shit. Looks like a dark hooded figure. Only because there was light reflecting off of it. And now the hood is down. Did he just... I thought he just noticed it. It's gone now. It's gone! It's gone! 
It's gone. It's on the foot last seat. Taz is gone to sit down. Go back to sleep, Taz. My friend is freaking out. <laughs> on the game. It's empty. It's not there anymore. You see, none of Gustavo's family got in the last cart on the roller coaster, and it's empty for most of the ride. But during the second lap, someone or something seems to appear out of thin air. The figure is hardly noticeable at first, but then it seems to transform into a solid person, seemingly wearing all black and sitting all alone. Now the roller coaster has not stopped a single time to allow for a person to get on or off. No. So just who or what? I, did they just this? jump in? Now what makes this capture even creepier is that years ago, two people lost their lives on a larger roller coaster that stood on the same land. After the tragic accident, that roller coaster was condemned and dismantled. It was replaced by this smaller, safer, family-friendly ride. So could this be the spirit of one of the victims of the older roller coaster accident? Are they doomed to loop this track over and over? Let me know what you think. No room at the end. Okay, that's just... Popular Japanese ghost uh, hunter Shiro from the oh, YouTube he's channel Kuro Shiro channel is joined by Shiro. his friend Kei to investigate an abandoned inn in the mountains of Japan. The inn was partially destroyed by a typhoon in 1982. The creepy inn is said to be haunted by the ominous spirit of a woman who is known to linger around room number 208. In an attempt to capture evidence of the paranormal, Shiro decides to leave a static camera recording outside of room 208 while he and his friend explore the rest of the inn. Without them knowing, the camera captures something downright creepy. Okay, let's see if I can see it. Oh, yep. There it is. Something can be seen moving behind a decaying old Japanese sliding door. The two investigators have no idea what goes, they just captured, just so they decide that Tay should go and stay in room 208. Shiro heads off to explore the basement, so Tay is left completely alone upstairs in room 208. Suddenly something happens that chills him to his core. <laughs> Wearing a poncho. Must be raining. <sighs> and the music ambience is gone. Oh. What? No, no, no. Something touched. It's a little hard to make out because of the, the way the camera is angled. It's a little hard to make out. The investigator is touched by something that he can't see, and he just makes a run for it. When looking back at the footage, it's clear that there's a dark shadow that seems to reach out and touch him even though Tay says that he didn't see anyone or anything at the time. Then whatever this is seems to follow Tay, this time appearing as a pale figure caught by the static camera pointed at room 208. When the two investigators finally find each other again, Shiro decides that it's time to grab their equipment and just head home. So did their cameras capture <laughs> the ghost of the woman who is said to haunt the abandoned inn? Or is it all 
just an elaborate hoax. You decide. <laughs> a scare at the air. I'm helping out a friend in their um, game by gathering some resources in the morning. Because when I play, like, we both play the same game and she doesn't play it as often as I do. So I hop on her account every now and then to help with resource gathering and then I hop off. And she just started the story mode. She's freaking out because she's one of her favorite characters is in that story mode. So, so she's just texting me right now. <laughs> Airbnb. Imogene from Alberta, Canada is spending the night at an Airbnb with a friend and her little dog, Rosie. A little Suddenly, Rosie! Rosie just starts freaking out at what seems like Where nothing. All these other messages, just emails and such. Is there a ghost? Yeah. yeah. What is this first? Where's the ghost? Right there. Where? There's nobody there, my friend. What are you drinking, Jack Daniels? Imogene jokes that the dog is barking at a ghost, and her friend is a little freaked out by the dog's creepy, crazy orange eye shine in the camera. But then things take a very I mean, bizarre it's a reflection. Turn. Oh! What, the, what the hell was that? Suddenly, the little dog makes a run for it, and a creepy dark shadow seems to reach out for her. Emma says that she has no idea just what this strange shadow could be, and she now believes that the Airbnb might actually be haunted after all. Ugh. What the f The ghost of passengers past. This next creepy video was recorded by a, a bus taxi? driver in Santiago, Oh no, it's a bus Chile. driver. The bus driver is completely alone in a park. The last time I saw a haunted vehicle related one before for the most recent one I did was with the taxi driver. I think it was the Philippines. It's been several years since I've seen that video, so I could be wrong. It may not have been the Philippines, but if you know the video that I'm talking about, then comment it down below. Park bus about to start her shift at 8 a.m. in the morning, but she suddenly realizes that she might not be as alone as she thought. Next to the door. And there's no one there. En pasajero fantasma. Sigue ahí sentado. Y las cámaras no están paradas. Sigue moviéndose. They are still running. Habrá sido alguien que... que se murió ahí sentado. ¡Qué hueva! A security camera live feed shows a young passenger is seated next to the window behind the bus driver. But when she turns to look, there's no one there. The bus driver wonders the if she bus might driver be call our manager? a real paranormal event. Unfortunately, the video cuts right there, and it was reposted to the internet without a name or source. Of course it was. So was it a ghost, or just a very strange camera glitch? I leave that up to you. They're to moving decide. on the camera. Slightly. Watch closely. Urban explorer Jimmy Jimenez has traveled to an abandoned ghost town somewhere in the mountains of Mexico. He stumbles upon an empty and seemingly barricaded house, and decides to take a look inside. While exploring, he doesn't really find anything that's strange, just an abandoned house covered in dust and dirt. But while his back is turned, something happens that makes you wonder if the house was barricaded for a reason. Something truly chilling. It's in the middle of nowhere, too. Watch closely. All right, it's a stuffed animal. Is it going to be gone? Or is it going to be sitting upright? It's still there. A 
magazines. Wait, is it sitting up right now? I think I just saw it sitting up right. Yep. It's sitting up right now. You might want to barricade that shit back up again. When Jimmy enters the old abandoned house, a doll can be seen lying face down on a chair in the corner of the entrance. But when he returns later to the entrance, the doll is now seated upright, facing Jimmy as if watching him. The explorer is completely unaware of what has happened. Yeah. And he leaves the house oblivious to what he just captured. Now, it should be mentioned that this footage has zero cuts. You can watch it yourself on Jimmy's YouTube channel. Yeah. Except for a I noticed there weren't any cuts, the except for the ones that Nuke was Jimmy's making. Own movements, no other footsteps or motion can be heard. So it's a complete mystery as to how this doll could have moved. Could it be that something terrible happened in this house? Is the doll perhaps a warning for Jimmy to leave? Let me know what you think. I would never trust a doll. Like the that. late night visitor, Sandra Crocker from Lincoln, Nebraska, wakes up one morning. And to then find I say that, and I just look at the camera, and I see all the plushies I have behind me. Change <laughs> notification from her <laughs> ring doorbell camera. The notification says that someone was at her door at around 3:30 in the morning. When she checks the footage, she is shocked. Is that a kid? I need a bigger uh, thing for my mug. I come back. Oh. Something can be seen that seems to exit Sandra's house at 3.24 a.m. The unrecognizable figure appears small and wide at first, but then as it disappears around the corner, it seems to have grown in size and is now dark as night. Some have even suggested that it looks like the dark figure of a woman walking away in an old-timey dress. Now, mm. Sandra doesn't know what to make of the footage. So, what do you think this could be? I thought it was a wheelchair for a second. I think the scariest thing of this entire video was that person ch being chased down by that random stranger who was sitting on the roof. I think that was the creepiest one there, because people can be a lot more terrifying than a ghost. They can be really more terrifying. And that is just one of those instances where you don't go over to places by yourself in the middle of the night, in the middle of the forest, because you have no idea if you're going to come back out alive. And also, the first thing that came to my mind when I saw that guy was Michael Myers, because he looked like he was wearing a blue jumpsuit. He looked like he was wearing the pale mask that he wears in the movies, and it looked like he was holding a knife. That's what it looked like to me. That's what all that looked like to me. If you guys think so too, comment below. But other than that, that was probably the creepiest thing of this entire video. To me at least. Because the threat was more visible than what you would normally see. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.